Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains. Here are a few simple tips to prevent flooding before a major storm comes. They're really simple tips, and if you follow these, you probably won't have a flood. So let's take a look at how you can solve these problems with a garden hose. Absolutely free. If you have a catch basin, let me show you how you can clean that catch basin line with a garden hose. And if you've got a downspout that's overflowing, remember the downspout drain is the most important drain in the rainwater draining system. And finally, let's take a look at solar backup systems, what they can do after the storm. These are simple tips that you can do before a major storm to prevent flooding. If you do these little simple tips before the hurricane or before any major storm, you probably won't have a flood. Okay, so if you've got a low spot in your yard and you have a catch basin already installed, you can see all the debris that has gathered on top of this. Of course, we want to clean that. The next thing we want to do is just get the garden hose out. And we're just going to stick it down through the line as far as we can and see if, we can, if there's anything in there, see if we can push it out. We just turn the water on and push it right out of there. Okay, let's go ahead and clear the debris off of this little grate. We'll go ahead and open that up. Then I'm just going to take my garden hose. I'm not even going to turn it on. And I'm just going to stuff it right down through here and push it as far as we can. This line only goes out a few feet, but we can easily test this. I'm just going to push it right out, see if there's any blockage. Okay, so I'm hitting something there, but I'll bet you that I'm at the end of the pipe. Let's go take a look. Okay, you can see this little wet spot right here. I know that's where the line comes out, but when I push the hose, of course it's not coming through there. It's just got it's just overgrown. So I just turned the water on and you can see it coming out here, but we still don't see where that pipe is. So let me show you a really simple thing that you can pick up at any hardware store. Less than I think they're like $15. They call it a drain bladder, but it's it works really good. I call it a flush bag. Let's go ahead and set that up on this and see if it blows this open. Okay, they call this a drain bladder. I call it a flush bag. But what it does, it's got this little pinhole down here and it's going to fill up with water and expand inside the pipe, not allowing any water to come back this direction. Let's go ahead and hook this up. I'm just gonna pull the hose back. Remember the hose is on right now. You can see, I'm gonna go ahead and kink it off. And then we're just gonna hook this up. So again, they call this a drain bladder, but it's better to me it's called a flush bag. We're gonna go ahead and stick it in the outlet side of this catch basin. You can hear it kicking on, and it just expanded inside there. It just totally expanded inside that pipe. Let's go out here by the uh, curb, by the swale, and see what happens. So can you see it kind of coming up and down right there? That's that bladder, and it's pushing all the debris out. We're just going to let it go for just a minute. But I know that the line's clean all the way to this point. Let's just reach in here and open this up a little bit. Oh yeah, we've got a good flow now, look at that. But see all the debris that's down in that line? This is something that you can easily do yourself and do this before the hurricane comes. Don't wait till after, do it before. That little $15 catch basin, if you watch that video, wow, it is a lifesaver. And if you maintain that system, do this before the hurricane comes, you probably won't have a flood. So this flush bag, this drain bladder, it's good for a three to four inch pipe, maybe six inch pipe. You can also get a smaller one. Say you've got a sump pump discharge line that's only inch and a half or two inch. This one here is designed for that. And again, I think this one's six or eight dollars. This one's less than $15 but you might not need these at all. All you really need is your garden hose. 
that's all you really need. You see the flow? And right here's my hose. Worked really good. So that's tip number one. Okay, when you're finished, you shut off your water, pull your hose back, and put your grate back on there. Make sure you clean off that grate. Snap your grate back in place, clean it off. And this catch basin is working great. I mean, we can let it run, but we already know that it's not backed up. Catch basins, they go in the low spot of your yard. If you already have one of these installed, let's take a look. And I just showed you how to clean it. It is so simple. You don't need to call a drain company. Of course, that's a much better way, and it's very clean when the drain company finishes doing their work. But you can do this yourself. If you do these little simple tips before the hurricane or before any major storm, you probably won't have a flood. The downspout drain is the most important drain in the rainwater drainage system. This drain protects your home from flooding beyond any other drain. As you can see, if you look at the roof, look how much water comes off of this roof. On this roof, there's over 2,000 square feet coming to this one downspout. And if that backs up, you've got problems. Let me show you a simple way that you can find out where that discharge is especially if you have no idea and it's grown over or whatever it's pretty simple take a look so here on the front of the house this downspout it picks up a great deal of roof all the way around a lot of valleys probably about 2,000 square feet come down to this downspout very important so it's kind of the same thing that i just showed you with the catch basin stick the garden hose in there let it run see what it does if you let it run long enough, if there is a problem in that line, that water will probably come up through the ground and you'll find the problem. You can also push that garden hose, just like I showed you, all the way to the end and measure it out. Dig it up at that spot. You might find the, there's a break there. But let's take a look. I let this water run and it's been running for about 15 minutes. And sure enough, right out here by the culvert, Here's where the, the water comes up. You can see it. I found the culvert pipe. Pull this back a little bit. You see that steel? That's the culvert going under the driveway. And there's actually water coming up right here. So the line's overgrown and we just need to open this line up. Not hard to do. Take your shovel. Let's dig this area up. Okay, so you can see there's the end of the line. We've got a real good flow coming out. It's going into the culvert. It's getting carried away. <clears throat> but they buried it really deep. And they didn't put any pop-up on it or anything, which is okay. But this has to be maintained. And you can see the root systems. These are uh, pine trees. And they're huge root system. They extend all the way. Definitely seek that water. But a real simple thing. Stick the garden hose in that downspout. Just like up there. Stick the garden hose in it. If it overflows, yeah, you need to clean that line. If you have time, you can call a drain company and clean it, or you can rent a machine. But if it doesn't overflow, give it a few minutes, and then look for evidence of water. This one was easy, it has a culvert. Sometimes you might just see water come up out of the ground, and you just explore the area, you'll find the pipe. Real simple. By doing these simple tips, you probably will not have a flood. Okay, let's talk about what you can do when there's no power and you've got a flooded area. You can easily put a small, this is just a small bilge pump. It says 1100 gallons per hour. I already have one down here in the water, down there. And we're going to just hook that directly up to the solar panel. And we don't need any battery. We can just hook this directly up. 
We don't need any battery. We can hook it directly up to the panel. Watch this. You see that? See that water? Granted, this is not very fast, but you could actually put a garden hose on this and extend it well away from the area that's flooded. Given that there's no power, if you have a solar panel, you can easily, without a battery, run this little pump directly. And it will run all day as long as you have power from the sunshine. You've got to have sunshine. But that will drain an area depending on how much water. It says, you know, 1,100 gallons an hour. So it take, might take a while, but at least it drains the area. Okay, say you don't have a solar panel. Um, again, that little bilge pump, this little bilge pump, I think they're like $11, and you've got a car battery, even if you used your car battery, watch. Just hook it up. There it goes. And granted, it is slow. You can see that water going down very slowly, but it will drain the area. Put a garden hose on that and pump it you know, well out into your yard or to, a, to the street, whatever you want to do. Simple solutions. You know, this battery, a brand new battery, <laughs> they're like, what, $80, $70, something like that? Bilge pump, 10 bucks. So there's $80, $90 all together. And that little guy, he can save you from all that aggravation of having that water flood into your house, your slab, your crawl space, your basement, wherever you live, this is a great way to go. So this little, I think this is 15 watts. That's all it is. It's just a trickle charger. And I think they're $17 at Walmart. If you hook this up, when you have full sun, it's going to keep that battery charged. Let me show you one more thing. Can you see this blue light blinking? That's a little diode that tells us that there is charge coming out of this little panel. And right now we're charging this battery. Most new car batteries have about 100 amp hours of power. So that's a long time, but you can extend it by adding that little trickle charger. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day. a flooded road and you see the signs do not drive through there your car or truck could easily float away <laughs>